Well, hello, everybody. Guess what just came out? The Murder Mystery 2 Halloween event. And I'm going to be telling you everything you need to know about it. So let's get started. First of all, we got a new map. And honestly, it's pretty cool. I like it a lot. I like the theme and everything. This building is pretty cool. Then you go in here, and it's even more cool. Anyways, for the main event, you can go into shop and press view. Or you can just go talk to this guy right here and press F. And so the first thing we got is a battle pass. Now, this is the same old battle pass you always see. You have um, number one, you can get a free effect, oh yeah, then you just keep going up and up and up and up and up, or you can just buy everything if you want. But, yeah, so each tier costs 800 candies, and the candies are also different this year, they have different models than usual, which is also pretty interesting. And you go all the way up, keep buying 800, 800, 800, and then you get to the very end over here. Now what do you get at the very end, you might ask? You press view, and it's an axe that costs 98,000 coins we're well, not really coins candies and this is going to take a while to get by the way so if you're planning on grinding for that you can do it if you want well and that's about like around 10,000 robux if you're just going to buy it straight up or actually 9,000 but still and then we got the mystery box now this is just a regular mystery box like every other mystery box except the items are based off of halloween stuff and you can get a godly but it's 0.2 percent i'll put a godly up on the screen if i could find it right here and now for the candies. You know how to get candies? You just walk around and just collect them. Or you can buy them if you want to, if you're paid to win. This is also one of the new maps, by the way. Honestly, this one's pretty good. It's pretty big. Pretty scary. If a candy will spawn. Oh, there's a candy. This is what the candies will look like, by the way. So, yeah. Just collect that up and they make that cool sound they always do. Gotta get that one. And unlike other events, candies are the only thing that spawns. There's no coins. At least I'm not seeing any coins and there's no option for coins. Which is great, honestly, because... I don't know why Nicholas was even doing that in the first place. But yeah, so there's no coins that will spawn, only candies. And now if we move on, we can go to the game mode. And if you play this, you can get eliminations as a vampire in the game mode, and then you can get rewards, which is a villager's lantern if you get 5, a bat swarm effect if you get 25, and a candle if you get 100. So I'm just going to go play that right now, actually. And you can see game mode browser, and it's right here, vampire hand. Just join in. 24 player service, by the way. And so here's vampire mode. As you can see, villager, hunter, and vampire. And I'm just telling you, it's basically like any other murder mystery 2 round, except the murderer can fly, and they have different names. And you can have like multiple sheriffs or something. So here's the here's the vampire. You saw he just pulled out a knife and now he's chasing me, and now he turned into a bat. And yeah, he's just whoa! I don't know what happened there, but he did a really bad job at hiding it. Anyways, that's all vampire mode really is. I'm not gonna go too in detail about it because you can just play it yourself and find out. So we're gonna get the leaderboard next. I'm not gonna explain how this one works. Honestly, if you want to see how the leaderboard works, I'll link a video in the description because it's a lot to go over and it takes up a bunch of time, which I don't want to waste your guys' time explaining all this. And next up we have the item pack, which is you can pay 1,700 Robux for the Spirit Godly, pay 1,700 Robux for the Soul Godly, or if you want to buy it all together and get a cool effect, you can buy the bundle. So yeah, that's pretty much all you guys need to know for this event. Overall, I'd say this is a pretty good event. It's better than what Nicholas has done for most years, and I think it was worth the wait. It was a little bit longer than most people expected, but I honestly think it was worth it because this event is pretty cool. It has a new game mode, it has pretty much everything. And yeah, so that's all for today. Have a great day or night, and have fun playing this event.